stunning photos captured of a rare albino deer. This was in Spring Hill. Stephanie Langston has the video and also spoke to the homeowner who described the sighting as surreal. It honestly was like such a surreal kind of almost like mystical experience. A ghost of the forest graced the property of Abby Cabler Tuesday morning. All of a sudden I hear my husband go, oh my gosh, babe, get out here now. Like kind of freaking out, a little panicky. And I run out there and he goes, there's a white deer, I swear. And we look out the window and sure enough, there he is just kind of like right on the other side of our porch, um, closer to the tree line, um, just eating away on the bushes. Captivated by the snow white deer. He was snapping pictures, I was taking the video. Like a clip out of a Christmas movie. We have to send this to the news. His statuesque stature and muscles, a spectacle to watch. In the video, you can kind of see his red eyes for a second. You can see his pink ears. Um, so, so crazy. He's like true albino. A rare occurrence with the TWRA saying experts guesstimate only one in 20 to 30,000 deer become albinos. Years ago, an albino buck known as Old Caney stole the hearts of residents in Chapel Hill. A full-body mountain of Old Caney was given to the town on permanent loan from the TWRA in 2022 after he was fatally hit by a car. I um, kind of did a little bit of research, and I guess our area has a really prevalent genetic lineage of albino deer. And so um, there's a hot spot in our area um, for the mutation. And then there's also supposedly another hot spot kind of closer to Kentucky. Um but you see more of them around here, which is interesting. Cabler growing fond of the albino that she says has magically appeared twice on her property now, affectionately naming him Casper. It's close to Halloween. He's bright white and he was here and then he was gone. So it kind of felt like Casper, the friendly albino deer. <laughs> And she says Casper actually returned to the same spot on their property again Wednesday morning. Abby posted about the rare sighting on a Facebook group, and it turns out a neighbor saw him last winter. I have more on why that neighbor calls it a miracle that the albino is still around. Coming up on News 2 at 6, Mark. Cool sight to see. Stephanie, thank you.